So uh, essentially, after the financial crisis in 2008, 2009, regulators, they, they came to recognize that things are going to go wrong, uh, no matter how hard they try to prevent institutions, financial institutions from failing, some will fail eventually. And so the imperative, the regulatory imperative, the key goal, if you like, became, well, let, let's minimize the damage on the, to the economy and society if and when uh, financial institutions fail. And, and as part of that uh, approach to regulation, uh, there's been a, an impetus uh, to get financial institutions to take risk management seriously. So, so in other words, uh, balance revenue growth, which they were very focused on before the financial crisis, balance that with what I call revenue preservation. So, so that what I mean by that is essentially sound, forward-looking, and proactive risk management that is an integral, so a core part of the business management and planning processes. Now, as part of this, uh, under uh, what is called in the UK the resolution regime, uh, banks and financial institutions have to prepare for all manner of severe but plausible scenarios up to and including business failure. Now, before the financial crisis, um, not many directors or senior managers at financial institutions could be held, held personally accountable for, for any failures within their institutions. Under the senior managers regime, however, um, th this can now be the case. Uh, and so the people in charge at financial institutions, they, they tend to take more risk management more seriously uh, than what would have been the case in the years before the, the financial crisis. And essentially, the, the, what regulars, regulators hope to achieve with this, all of this, uh, that they've done since the financial crisis, is to make regulation more than a box-ticking exercise. Uh, so so what, whatever the rules are, all they ever want is for institutions to make an earnest attempt at, at following the rules and doing so in a forward-looking manner. 